Hello there, I'm Nigel Mill. Welcome back to another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Now, like I am like I always am, I am still on the path to the side quest of Ramas. <laughs> the last place I need those side quests to be completed is... The city center. I've come a long way from Watson to Westbrook to Santo Domingo, through the Badlands, and through Haywood, and through Pacifica. I've done all side quests as of now. And now I'm about to sweep the whole map of side quests. For now, because I suspect that there's gonna be more popping up as I continue with the main quest that I haven't done in a while since I really wanted to experience everything in this game uh, and you know share it with all of you if you were interested or not so without further ado let's keep going I am here all right my first quest in the super fancy corpo uh, city Dino, Dino Vic, are you the Dino Ripper? V. Got this client, Larry Fangorn. Says his partner Adam elbowed him out of his biz. Club called Empathy. Larry wants back in, and hey, we're here to help, right? What can I say? The club industry's always been a meat grinder. Attach the deeds for you. You know, I, I haven't had the pleasure of uh, being introduced to you. So you're the new Ripper Doc around these parts. Seems like I'll be dealing with you for quite a bit. Alright. Let's see what kind of objective. Upload a virus to Empathy Subnet. Meet Adam Ibrahimovic and Larry Fanghorn. Adam's the guy and the Larry's our client. Once upon a time, the two friends opened up a club called Empathy, and things got off the ground pretty quickly. The Edegis poured in their popularity surge. They were surrounded by hordes of young ladies and one question at the back of their minds. Who's got their hands in whose pocket? Adam or Larry? The blame fell on our innocent, naive Larry. What does Adam do? He changes the club's access code, made a few shady deals, and hired animals as bouncers. If you were Larry, wouldn't you be pissed? Here's what you're gonna do. You'll break into Empathy, upload the attached virus into their net, and bring the club's operation to the standstill. Empathy won't budge an inch until Adam welcomes his old pal Larry back with open arms. Sounds like a breeze, right? Just keep things quiet. No witnesses and everyone will be happy. Alright, so a hush hush operation. My specialty. By the way, miss, are you floating? Yes, you are floating. Uh, have fun with those magical powers of yours. What you looking for? Hardcore BD? Maybe something softer? You don't got any real girls? We employ dancers here. No joy girls, no dolls. Oh, I heard this was a fun club. In a BD. I can offer you a booth with a private dance or a hard BD. Excellent choices, both. I take the dance. I like the real deal, not some shitty virtue. The dance is as close as you're gonna get, buddy. So, uh... Can I talk to anyone? Welcome. Please go right ahead. Yep. Nope. That's that's not the way to go. Avoid getting into combat. Optional. Find the subnet's main computer. Is this a scanner? Breach protocol. Is this a scanner? Ah, goddammit. Well, I'm in here now. Alright, since I think that's a scanner, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go the the other route. Through the back way, if you know what I mean. Ping, because I don't wanna be caught with my pants down. Um 
Hello? You guys and girls, uh, doing okay? Whoa! There's a lot of, uh, gang goons. Ah, oh, they think I'm n I'm I'm new, an employee. That's a nice cover. All right, the, these these people are exotic. They got their cybernetics on. They got they got their fancy legs. They've got their chrome. They've got everything. <laughs> and they think I'm one of them. Maybe because my character is a female. Maybe that's why they accept me going in here. Alright. Let's see over here. Jack in. I'm just a new girl. Nobody mind me. <laughs> Alright. So... Ah, more more hacking things. Let oh uh, messages. Uh, thanks, Adam. Thanks for your help. Scrolls are prime, especially the kid with the tattoo. Is he still alive? He if he is, we'd love to use him in another virtue. Whatever we need to give him to power through, we can get it. Stars always come first. Best Gottfried and Fedrik. Fuck you. You're fucked, and I mean really fucked. You think I'm just another loser whose drink you can spike, clean out their credit ship, and throw them in the street? Well, you have no idea who you're messing with. My lawyers are drafting a lawsuit as we speak. I've got you by the fucking ball sacks now. <laughs> That's a bad place to be got. Uh, Eddie's. Adam, baby, this is the last time I'm gonna write to you, Eddie's or your ass gets a beating so hard you won't be able to sit for a month. From now on, I'll be using non-verbal communication. Three days, Didi. Files. No files. Jack in. Let's go. Eh, well, there's a bouncer right there. Not gonna be easy, uh... You know... Hmm. For me, it is going to be easy. I just go up here. And that's it. <laughs> Look at that. Weird that there's no cameras in here. It's very strange. Huh. Hello? Avoid getting into combat. Upload the virus on the club server. Can I... I don't know if he's gonna turn around because oh. he's in a cell phone. But, uh... I'm gonna guess that he won't turn around. Mm -hmm. So... Mm. I'm just gonna... steal everything... from you. Huh. Is this the exit? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, this is... this is the express exit. <laughs> hey, uh... What? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna... You got the wrong guy! ...use this. No, no, you listen! Yeah, we'll see about that! Zombie Orgy 3. Stop the uh. killing, blood will be spilled step by step. Cry, baby, cry. The first one... Mm. Uh -huh. I would like to see. Not experience it, but i like to see. Uh, thanks, and then Eddie's. The same goddamn mm. thing. Install the virus. Mm. Get in and get out. Pretty simple. Mm. Pretty, pretty simple. Uh -huh. Well, that's it. That is it. All according to plan. Dino. <laughs> that's what I'm fucking talking about. That's what I do. Get in, install what you need, get out like it ain't no thing. Gig is closed. Gig is closed and my eddies are mine. All right. That was extremely easy. I could have gotten another way, maybe, if I was in a different character sex. Maybe if I was male, the other... Uh, the, the girls in there would freak out and call security, maybe. But I wasn't gonna go through that metal detector or whatever it was. 
because one, I have guns on me, two, it probably is gonna alert everything in the whole building, so I chose to go the uh, discreet route. I was so lucky that my character is female. <laughs> hey, where are you going? That's... All right. Surprise! Check the nearest drop point. Got something big waiting with your name on it. Consider it a gentle nudge to make sure you keep taking these jobs in some preem direction. Ah, ah. Is it a, a drop point that I that I that I missed? Collect your reward from the drop point. Okay. I'm gonna go there uh, at some point. Well, when, I, when I'm done with this quest, whatever the hell this is. Well, it seems like I'm right here. Close by, so I didn't need to travel for that long. What is this, by the by? Regina, hey, a cyber psycho. A little bit ago, a tiger claw called for help, attacked by a certain Aki. At least that's what they call the rogue tiger hunter. He's been picking off his own in silent but spectacular fashion. My gut says this Aki had a cyber psychotic break, but I'd like to know for sure. Don't kill him if you don't have to. And don't forget to run. Finish this another time. The hell is this? Flashbangs. I'll talk to you later, Regina. Hey, Regina. Right, go ahead. Go ahead. Don't kill him if you don't have to. And don't forget to watch your back. Got it. Cyber Psycho found me. So, the tigers are starting to think there's some vengeful spirit or demon hunting them. I wouldn't rule out the supernatural just yet, but I suspect there are more rational explanations at hand. Yeah, like a freaking cyber psycho with a freaking katana and flashbangs that just blinded me when I headshotted them. So, how did they die? Body sustained severe injuries from a sharp-edged weapon. Yep, well... I, I saw the sharp-edged weapon, so now I know what I'm dealing with. Archive conversation. Here we go. Uh, Masako Osawa and Takikazu. I was collecting goods from the drop spot and think someone's out to ambush us. Only the supplier and us know about that spot. Ugh, and he doesn't look the type to set up an ambush, so get a grip. I don't know, I got a feeling like someone was watching me. Like something bad was gonna happen. When I stood in the dark tunnel, I had this sudden feeling like somebody was right behind me. It's in your head, you probably just heard your footsteps echoing and some scary shadows. Look, I get it. I'd be nervous too if I thought our spot was compromised. I checked, uh, I checked and all I saw was Norio standing behind me. Didn't say anything, just looked. Then it was like he vanished into thin air. Well, maybe that's the cyber psycho I'm looking for. It's probably the cyber psycho I need to hunt down. Hey, 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 hey! Shard, shard, wait a moment, wait a moment, guy. Norio, uh, Akuhara, and Dr. Colling, uh, Thibinats. Hey, those pills you sent me stopped working, but don't worry, I found another way to deal with everything. I found my zen, and now all the tragedies are like water under the bridge in my garden of peace. Okay, are you the zen master? <laughs> uh, what about blackouts, the gaps in your memory? You're not sounding much better. Actually, you sound a bit worse. No, no, it wasn't memory loss. I freed my consciousness now, while then I was somehow shut off. Not present. I had to test our people for they had stopped being present as well. They can't sense the killing, the murderous intentions in the air. Uh, what sort of test? And why is there blood on Dakuga? What's going on? I read about a Saki test. I wanted to see if Sata's and Julia's death could have been avoided. Okay, and what was this test? Did anyone pass? You have a sense your you have to sense your approaching doom and react accordingly. Unfortunately, none have passed the test so far, so I think I found the cause for all my suffering, but I still hope and I will continue my test. You kill people from your own gang? Norio, put those books down and take your meds. <laughs> Goddamn. 
You like uh where is it? You like flashbangs, you motherfucker? How do you like this? Are you happy? Ah, there you go. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Who the hell were those guys? Take that! Come on! Bullets versus sword. Who wins? I don't think you have it. I don't think you have any chance of winning. Hmm. Hmm. So you were the cyber cycle with the fucking thing. These guys, I don't know who they were. Bouncers, animals from the other place way over there that I just went through. Okay. A katana. Uh sharp and lethal, be careful not to cut yourself. Is it as a regular katana or a special uh, unique katana? Uh Julia Lee and Norio Akuhara. Was in the up with the new boss today. His skills leave a lot to be desired compared to Sota's virtuosity. Virtuosity. Job wasn't clean at all. Took a couple of cuts to finish off some of the six streeters. Painful to watch. Why didn't you help him? I know you could have finished him off before he even managed to draw his blade. Wanted to give him a chance to prove himself. Hmm. Maybe it's a good he got some practice. Soda always made that the top priority. Yeah, but he ruined the shit you gave me. Besides, I don't feel any kinship from with him. Don't worry, you'll get a new shirt for your new life away from this falling gang. Hmm. Think a new shirt will come easier than a new life, but I guess we'll see. Sure, hope I'm wrong. Though ever since I started working on my Zen, my insight's been much, much stronger. Okay, so he needed to, he wanted to prove himself, but uh, he got into some uh, very sick experiments. All right. Uh, Noro is alive, Norio is alive, managed not to give in to the air of murder. <coughs> I also killed two people that weren't cyber psychos, but you don't care about those, don't you, uh, Regina? An air of murder, or Saki, as Fromm calls it in his book, Zen Buddhism and Psychoanalysis. The old samurai masters were uncanny in their skill at sensing incoming danger. Clearly this ability didn't pass down to the target class, a price they paid dearly for. Some folks like Norio need to know the cost behind everything. He searched high and low for Julia Killer until he found them. At least he didn't die from uh, lingering doubts or from you. <laughs> Anything you want, Regina, I'm here to service. So. I mean, he didn't sense danger either, so he failed at his own test because he never attacked me. Even though I shucked grenades and put him in the ground and then shot him in the legs so he couldn't get closer. But still, he had no chance of winning. <laughs> he didn't sense his inevitable demise either. So, he also failed the test. Great! Completo, Night City Completo. Okay. I'm gonna go get my reward from the last side quest and then I'll move on to the other one. There you go. Collected rewards. And now I'm off to the next one. <laughs> this car doesn't stop. <laughs> it keeps going. Jingui. Oh, Jinguji. Jinguji. I'm here. Welcome to Jinguji. Ah, I was right on the pronunciation. I'm so awesome. Can I talk to you? Jinguji. Ah, look who it is. What a lovely surprise. I'd almost forgotten that pretty face. And what a pity that would be. Welcome back to our little oasis of elegance. Now, what can I do for you today? Maybe a little upgrade, hmm? Sequins are back, you know. 
Uh, have we met? Uh, have we met before? A little quiet in here. Just because it's a skill check, I'm gonna go with this. Looking a little empty these days. What can I say? Jinguji is about quality, not quantity. That's a bullshit excuse. Now, just between the two of us, a touch of elegance can go a long way. If it's quality over quantity, then wouldn't you have rich people f flocking over here? You know, it doesn't matter if it's quantity over quantity. If, if you know, if you have the right place and the right uh, establishment in Night City, since you're in the city center, which a lot of people are, a lot of rich people are, then you're bullshitting me. <laughs> Something's wrong here. Maybe so, uh, your business or something. Panekia, Panacea and Lack Key, whatever that number is, and I have no idea what it does. Crafting spec. Okay. Do I really want anything from you? This looks cool, but... Uh, it doesn't have a lot of armor slots, not like this that has four armor slots. Can I make the Arasaka bulletproof vest? Is it something I can make? on my inventory, since I have legendary uh, mods to put into things. And because it, uh, the game has been updated to... You know, the more proficient you are in technological, uh, technological uh, skills, the, the, the more you'll get legendary uh, things. So... That's a nice update that they did. I really like that because the technic technical ability in this game was extremely below. Uh, it was underused. It was underpowered. It was not worth it. It was trash to uh, put points into it unless you had a lot of uh, tech weapons, which I don't. I only have a tech sniper and I don't use it that much. So, that, that ability tree was not for me. So that's why I regret putting a lot of points into it. Alright, I'll buy. I'm gonna buy this because it looks kinda cool. But I gotta sell a lot of things to uh, make up for that purchase. <laughs> so, I'll be right back. I'm gonna chop my heart out here. Right, I haven't upgraded the mocks. I got it from the last episode. Oh, I've gotta, I gotta update this baby. Oh hell yeah! What does it do? Suited for high reflexes, low reload speed, modded barrel reduces spread while aiming. That's pretty nice. I need to upgrade it. I'll do that after I'm done with this shopping menu. What? Oxygen? Oxygen? You know how useless oxygen mechanics are in this game? Oxygen. You know, the 0.01% of the time that I'm in the game is underwater and you're gonna replace an important clothing mod with oxygen it's not like I'm gonna hunt for sharks in the ocean it's not like I'm gonna catch some fish underwater or see some sea turtles and some coral uh, coral forget how do they say that colony Coral colonies, I don't know how they're, uh, what's the right term for those, but oxygen, 
This is what I think about your oxygen. <laughs> Oh my mama! Wow, these things are... They sell good! They sell very, very good! Holy hell! Okay, so maybe... Oh, maybe the Armadillo Legendary is a little bit too overpowered because it can sell for half a thousand dollars and to make them is extremely cheap if you have the technical ability of <laughs> what I have. So, huh. Like, this one is not overpriced, this one is not overpriced, this one is not overpriced. There must be something in very hard difficulty that changes the armor value to the extreme like that, because I don't think this is intended to be balanced. <laughs> But, uh, wow, I can just have infinite money. Okay. Nice. Good plan. Alright. That's it. I found a way to make infinite money. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. So! Guards! Get the door! Hold him there! The fuck? I'm down in the alarm! Who the hell is a cyber psycho? Fuck me, get down as well! Back that! Be here in a moment! Hold him! Hold him till they get here! Talking to me? Go, girl. Don't let him kill me! I mean, he's down. He's down. Open fire! Max Tech, thank God. You were a little bit too late. Target neutralized. Secure the witnesses. Whoa. Just had to go play dutiful consumer in a corpo suit. Shop. Can hear you, remember? <laughs> Dude. How could I forget? You, over there. Statements, now. I was getting attacked, you son of a bitch. Just have to mop this gunk up. We'll be back in business. Sec Situation resolved. Deactivate alarm. Yeah, by me. Man, Max Tech. Sit. Hands where I can see him. Max Tech uh, responded extremely quickly. Johnny, what? Well, where did you go? Man, he was. Oh, whoa. Well. I said sit. It's a lot of you. Fine, fine. Man, security in this place is crap. In accordance with Article 105 of the Cyberpsychosis Procedure Code, your statements will be recorded and retained. Uh, Melissa Rory, Max Tax Senior Officer. Please state your name and occupation. Zane Jagger. I work for Jinguji, an oasis of elegance. It That's enough. Sorry, habit. V, nice to meet you. V, Merc, occasional client to Zane's. Yeah. Johnny Silverhand, rock legend, voice in V's head. The and fuck, also, Johnny? <laughs> let me pretend I exist sometimes, okay? Whatever you say, Johnny. Checks out. Please describe what happened starting from the moment of the attack. I... I was just presenting V with a one-of-a-kind offer when I... I suddenly heard shouting from the street. You take it away from me. Then him. that psychopath ran in. He killed... Hey, fuck it, he slaughtered my guards. Uh... I hit the alarm. V pinned the crazy bastard. Weren't for her, wouldn't be anything left to clean up. <laughs> no problem. Was saving my own ass, too. Yeah. I was saving my own ass, too. Anything else? Unusual behavior? Besides slicing and dicing my people in this store's reputation? No, nothing at all. Your guardsmen suck, by the way. Thank you for your cooperation. That is all. Okay. Coroner's been notified. Be here any minute. Coroner for the guards? Jagger, this store is closed until the investigation is complete. You know, I think I saw the cyber psycho stand up from the ground and leave. Hey, v. So. Once you uh, clean this place up, come by whenever you like. I'll handpick something special, just for you. Smith, report. Thanks. How's it looking? Later, two Zane. Killed, two wounded inside the store. You Six get? bodies on the street outside. Where's the coroner? Six. Sitting in traffic. Be a little late. Well, this was nice work. You feel that back there? Feel his life leave his body? Uh, 
Those mantis blades. You uh, you have the same things as me. Hold up a sec. Your mantis blades. Egarashi 2013s. Weren't those pulled off the market in 69? Recall they don't play well with neural processors. Poking at a part of the prefrontal cortex that shouldn't be poked at. Probably would have bought a pair myself weren't for that. Good eye. Had them installed years ago. They're very precise. Are you sure you're not the cyber psycho? Huh. Thought Max Tech preferred our soccer blades as their standard issue, but well, seeing how you handled these wrist razors. They're my reminder. When I see them, I see what they've sliced. Muscle, tendon, bone, even implants. Like a hot knife through butter. Right. But you're with the good guys now, right? Man. You really have to kill. You always just wipe them? You know, her therapy can sometimes work. Apprehending the target alive carries additional risk for bystanders. Rarely done. Very rarely. I... Rarely. More like never. How many <laughs> psychos you save in your life? Zero. Probably. Don't change the subject. You felt him die. Did you like it? That split second when the blood still flows, but his light's gone out? Uh, no. You're looking for a psycho soulmate. It ain't me, babe. It ain't me. You got your kinks? You love the hunt. Love the kill. No matter if they're psychos or regular Joes. Oh, we're not so different, you and I. Saw that look on your face right after. You can't hide it. Yeah, the face. Join us. Could use a few more like you. Uh, nah, I really like being a merc. Oh, nice compliment, but uh, I feel like, I don't know, a merc and fucking sequins? Still might give it a think. You do that. You certainly got a gift. Great. This guy was alive when I shot him. Minute. Whoa. Oh my. How did this happen? Wait a moment. Uh, how did you set up so quickly? Either this is the game's engine uh, doing its work, or, you know. Hey, get out of my car, please. I know you responded extremely quick, but what is this? No data. Right. Uh, first time I've seen a helicopter. I guess. But now my car is stuck there, so it doesn't matter, does it? Alright, so I guess I'm gonna check that place out later. Maybe it has something for me. Uh, v, what, what, what? Why are you so far away? Don't be shy. I wanna look at this. Eh, pretty cool, pretty cool. You know what? I've been uh, sporting... I've been sporting uh, the bulletproof vest for a very long time, so I guess some changes are needed. She looks cool. She looks very cool. Alright, so... That's it. That's it for now, I think. So, next episode I'm gonna go continue with the side quest Orama. I'm almost there. I, I'm almost done with everything in uh, the side quest department. Almost done. Bear with me a little bit. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> you, sorry. <laughs> Thank you everybody so much for watching this video and I hope to see you on the next one.